Are you tired of little cross-slide handles? What you need is a new handle. Okay, seriously, that little handle was getting on my nerves. I never really liked it to begin with, so I set out and I made up this simple little handle. I didn't have the right size stock, so I made it from three parts. Just flip the part around and I got a piece of copper shim in there to protect the surface. So now I'm just going to clean off this face here. And then we need to do some layout work of some type to drill a three holes, like a three hole bolt pattern if you will. Here I'm just doing a test fit of the first part that I have. I don't have a large enough piece to turn two and three quarter. And I'm going to use this plate, half inch thick plate. For this large diameter I have a bunch of this so this is what we're going to use again if I had a uh, three inch or two and three quarter I would have made this as a solid piece but I don't Put it in the four jaw now and uh, get the interior taken care of. All right, we got it chucked up in the four jaw, and uh, let me put my hand over that to get rid of the glare. So we're dialed in on the OD. Seven ninety one within one thou. I'll take that. All right, we're gonna bring it in to catch the tapered part there. So we're just gonna bring it in from the OD and make a scrap a little mark. <laughs> Gone ahead and marked. Let's see, hope this, there we go. 
mark my three spots. We're going to put our first part on, our second part on, and to hold that and keep it concentric, I just made this uh, basically it's an arbor. First, I'm going to put a nut on here, and that's to trap and hold the bolt in position so I can move my part, I can rotate my part without this moving at all. I went ahead and tapped here and I have the actual bolt fed in from the back for a temporary and that's only to hold the large uh, piece to the smaller piece so that they don't uh, lose their tracking with one another. Yep, and everything's holding together just fine. I'm going to move you over to the back so you can take a look at what I'm talking about. So here's what I'm, uh, I did just for a temporary. This is just partially fed in. I know it hits the shoulder. And again, that's to hold these two together now. I'm going to go for B, which gives me a handle length of inch and a half. I'm actually going to try to follow the dimensions and see if I can actually land on all of these. I'm not too sure how to actually make that contour. I'm assuming with a form tool. We'll see what happens. Well, I think uh, I think that turned out rather nice first try. I mean, yeah, I didn't get the that curvature on the back, but pretty cool. As you can see, I've got serious backlash and a bent screw. It's bent right out here at the handle. I really need to get a new one. That is so much nicer. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Or better yet, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks.